So let me share my screen and we are going right into Facebook advertising, into the basics of a Facebook advertising so that you know and understand what can be done and what you can do with Facebook advertising and where you are now have the access to our program, have the access how to do your Facebook ads. So the, when we are starting, when we are talking about advertising, there are certain components you want to be aware of. And at the end of the day, it is very easy. That is a Facebook ad, what you are seeing right now. A Facebook ad is simple. It is structured very simple, and it is not only for Facebook. If you understand the basics of an ad structure, now you can go to Instagram, to LinkedIn, to YouTube, to Snapshot, to LinkedIn, to every platform where you can advertise. And when you know the basics, you quickly can evolve and adapt to each of the platforms. So here we have our advertising and our advertising is very, very simple. I am going through so that you know when we are running Facebook advertising, we want to run it from our Facebook business page. As a real estate agent, you are a business owner and the business owner should have their own Facebook page because people now simply expect you to have a Facebook business page, what also at the same time works for you as your website. So for people, they see it as a website for some representation to being online to have some presence online. We established this to our Facebook business page and that's where we want to run our advertising from. From our business page now, our Facebook ad should have a copy. A copy is nothing else than our text. As you can see here in our Facebook advertising, we are usually seeing the first three lines. People can read the first three lines and you want to make sure that you speak to your audience and that you make your text and your copy a little bit more attractive so that people want to read more or that they are feeling that you are speaking to them. The next component is very important because that is your creative, your media, your picture, your video. That is the most important of your advertising because people will stop the scroll when you got their attention. To get people's attention, you can do this to your video, you can do this to your picture, you can do it to a picture carousel. So you do have different options available. And if you are starting your advertising, you want to make your media or your creative, you want to make sure that it is attention cropping so that people will stop their scroll. When people stop their scroll, when they find your video or your creative, your picture, interesting, the next thing they will do is reading your headline. Your headline is below your advertising on Facebook. It is different on different platforms, but your headline as well needs to be attention cropping and it needs to be short to the point and you want to get some interest with your headline. Usually what people do Yes, they see your picture, then they are looking your headline, and from there, they are going up to the copy to your text, and now make a decision if it is interesting for them, or if they want to scroll through. That all gets very, very quickly. That is usually done in a few seconds. They take a picture, take a quick look at the headline, and if they are interested, then they will look at your text. So that goes quickly, usually within the first one to three seconds, and they make the decision if they want to move forward, if they want to take a look what you provide them, or if they want to scroll through. You want to make sure that most of your ads, it's depending what ad you are running, 
that you have a call to action. And that is the little button here on your screen on the, on the right side of your advertising, where we are now telling our followers, our interests, our customers, everybody who stopped this call, what to do next if they want to learn more. I personally like the learn more button because it gives them the impression that they are on their own are able to discover what we are offering them. It gives them a little bit more control in their mind. You, if you don't see it that way, we do have different options available where we are now can say, sign up, uh, download here, message me, visit my website. So it's all depending what your end goal is when we are running conversion traffic or a lead generation campaign, we always use the learn button. When I am running a video view campaign, I am not using any buttons. Why? Because I want those people who are watching my video get the feel that it just came up in their feed so that they take a look at the video because on the end, on the end side, I can build an audience from everybody who is watching our videos. And now I am able to retarget them with another video, with an advertising, uh, legion, whatever my end goal is, I am now guiding them through the process through videos, video views, and that's where I don't use this options of putting a call to action on it many, many times because we are using videos to build our audience, to build our presence so that people get to like, know, and trust me. And the most affordable way is through video ads. And if you are an agent, that is one of the advertising you should run because now it gives you more presence in your market and your people can get to know you slowly on a way more affordable way when you are warming up your audience. And that is in Facebook advertising, that is all what is to a Facebook advertising, to a Facebook ad. So you see, it is not that complicated because the Facebook ad itself, that is where people make the decision. So you want to have a good copy, meaning your text needs to be enticing. You want to have a good media, a picture or a video where people get or you get people's attention and now they are stopping the scroll. When they stop the scroll, they will look your headline and your headline should be enticing enough so that they are looking your copy and taking the next action you want them to take. And that is a Facebook ad. Yes, we can go a little bit deeper than in targeting into the ad set, into the ad itself, but this is a Facebook ad. Nothing complicated to it, but your Facebook advertising copy creative headline will make or break if somebody wants to move forward to take the next step. When we are talking about the next step, now we are talking about if somebody pushes the learn more button, now we are able to send them a to a lead form which is within Facebook and if you are a beginner you want to make sure that you are taking the lead form it's already optimized for you you just have to follow the steps what Facebook wants you to insert again there is some copywriting involved so that they give you a name and number. We, in our case, we are using traffic or conversion where we are sending people outside of Facebook to a website or in our case to a landing page where we are now getting them to give us, depending what we are asking for, name, number and email. It all depends how you take a look at the lead. For me, a lead is, even if I don't have their information yet, for me personally, a lead is if somebody watched my video. Even if I don't know 
who watched my video. This is a lead for me because I know somebody watched a lead, uh, watched my video and now I can guide them to where I want them so that I can find my idle costumer very easy with retargeting marketing where I now put more advertising in front of somebody and guide them to where I want them to have maybe another video maybe a, a sign up form, maybe something to download, maybe to message me. So it's all depending the strategy we are using. But today we are not talking about strategy. I want to show you a very simple Facebook advertising or in general advertising because all these components you also have in different social media platforms. If it's YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, snapshot whatever is you have an ad you need a good headline you need probably a, a, a call to action and you need a good copy so that people take the next step you want them to take now when people are landing up our uh, when they sign up if it's in in facebook now they are getting a thank you page and with our landing page, they also get a thank you page. Now, when they are on those pages, I do have different availability for me where I could cut off the advertising itself or make it even more compelling so that I can serve that customer on the next level. And that's when we are talking a fully structured advertising campaign. An advertising campaign versing in advertising, you just saw a simple Facebook ad. We do have the ad, then we send them where we want to send them, to a lead or to a thank you page. And that's where are many, many people dropping off and dropping the ball because you don't want to just run advertising. You want to run a fully structured advertising campaign. So remember, the first thing here, we have our actual ad text, copy, picture, landing page, call to action. Not landing page, headline. And then we have a landing page or a lead form. And then uh, when people fill that out, they go to one kind of a thank you page within Facebook or outside of Facebook. What we are doing next is where we are now involving many chat where we are getting into the next step where we integrating man, many chats so that we can starting a conversation as you know the fastest way to closings are conversations many chat or any kind of messenger bot makes it very very easy where i now can start a conversation with my customer and get them qualified. The end goal always is to book an appointment or to have a call to have a conversation in Messenger so that I can qualify the lead where they are and also can ask and understand where they are in the process. Different buyer different seller, all are in different processes, and you want to find out what they are in your pipeline so that you can now serve them best. From there out, now they are going into a CRM. That means that our CRM starts other conversations with our leads. So that is the difference between between a Facebook advertising, which as you can see here, is a small component of a fully structured campaign. You just don't want that lead and now what? You want to make sure that you have follow-up system in place. You want to make sure that you can find out as much as possible where your lead is in your pipeline and how you can serve them best. The end goal I always have in mind 
is a conversation. A conversation could be in Messenger, a conversation could be over the phone, it could be a conversation with email, or a conversation where I now can maybe have an online conversation, or we are having a Messenger bot conversation. But it's important for me, my end goal is always to have a conversation so that I can guide my lead or new client opportunity through the process where they are and where they want to go. And that is simply an advertising structure versus a campaign structure where our Facebook advertising or any kind of advertising is a small part of your campaign building where when we are building campaigns, now we are structuring and we are taking a look how we can get to start a conversation with our new client opportunities. And we can do this different ways through automation, but also through personal interaction with our new lead. I know that seems a little bit much, but again, if you understand Facebook ad or an advertising in its own. That is again, copy, picture, headline, call to action. That is your advertising on its own, but it will not work or it will work different ways depending on the campaign structure you are putting it behind. Everybody makes it very complicated. It is not complicated. If you understand the basics, now you can immerse yourself into the campaign structures, how to use different campaigns, video view campaigns, lead generation campaigns, convert conversion campaigns. So there are different structures, but the ad itself is always the same structure. That is what you need to understand so that you can immerse yourself into any advertising platform that is available. I know it sounds maybe a little complicated, but that's why I'm here. That's why I'm showing it so that you can study a little bit more, go back to the video, learn a little bit more, and then you are able to implement it. It is very important that you learn and implement. Facebook just changed the platforms again. My platform was totally changed, advertising platform. And I'm keeping you with me. I show you exactly what is going on right now in my ads manager. Everything looks different. You are maybe still on the old platforms. I am on the new platform. But I do understand the basic. And the new platform is not throwing me off because I understand the basics. And now I can move forward and implement what I need to do for my advertising and for my fully structured campaign. So stay here with me. Next week, we're going a little bit deeper into your campaign structure when we are looking at Facebook. So we will be here next week again. But until next week, I would recommend go back to the video, look, and your ad itself makes it or breaks it. So that is, you need a good copy, you need the attention cropping um, headline, attention cropping um, picture or video, so your media, so that people stop the scroll. That's what you should work on it and always have in mind and then test. Test, test, test what works best, what doesn't work. Maybe you change the picture out. Maybe you change the headline out. Maybe you change the copy out. So that's what we are doing. We are always testing so that we are keeping our um, KPIs very eyesight so we know exactly what to look for and you quickly will understand what works for you and what doesn't work. So you will see what your paying per video view, so what you are paying for uh, per opt-in, per click. So that is all a little bit behind the scenes, but I don't want to make it complicated. Even if you are starting out advertising, start learning what an ad is. It is very simple, and then you can go from there. If you want our guide, I have a guide available for you where I show you how to set up the advertising step-by-step -step your Facebook ad. 
let me know below. The best thing is you put Facebook ad guide, then I know exactly what, what you want. You can message me as well. No sign up required. I will send you that guide without any request. I will message it to you and then you have your guide and you can work on it right away. So that is a simple advertising. Next week, we're going a little bit deeper where we are now going into this structuring a campaign, how you can test it and understand a little bit the behind the scene where we are now going into traffic and into targeting and also where we are then going into your testing your advertising, how you can do it very, very simple. Until then, no worries. I am here for you. Any question, put them down below. I will come back and answer them. So no worries about this. We are here for you. If you need our Facebook advertising guide, put down below Facebook ad guide, message me and I will send it your way without any sign up requested. I hope I see you next week for going a little bit deeper into an advertising campaign where we are now talking about traffic and targeting and where we are talking about uh, as well, how you can test your ads in different ways. So until then, thanks for watching. Dankeschön and Auf Wiedersehen.